Hello, hello, and welcome to a first gameplay look from Gamescom for Tarkov's Arena Mode. I have not seen this, and I know it came out, I think, yesterday or Friday, because I'm uploading this Sunday, but I'm gonna, we're just gonna watch this. I am, I'm really excited to see what a more in-depth look in Arena Mode is gonna be, because we've seen, you know, little clips here and there, but it's six minutes long, we're gonna go through it, I'm just, I'm gonna... To say this down, pause it a lot, and I'm going to just, if I see something, I'm going to pause it, and let's just do this. T45. Hmm. Oh, I love the intro. Intros are so, oh, wow, okay, immediately off the rip. Off the rip immediately, I see double, double armbands. That's actually really cool. It's a better way of, um, you know, telling who's on your team. Because they're not going to do, like, indicators like you would in other games. So, that's cool. Um, I almost wish that was in regular Tarkov. But, pop in the stims. So, let's see what this is like. Main time, eliminate enemy team. Oh, you can even see the score. I just saw the scoreboard out there. That's, that's actually cool. That's live. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, get him. He's right there, you... Still soft skills. Kill feed. That's dope. So, okay. So I just noticed something as well. So for anyone who doesn't know what this map is, if you've played the side game called Hired Ops, which is like almost, I don't know, I don't think BSG makes it, I'm actually pretty sure BSG doesn't make it, um, but Hired Ops is basically Deathmatch Tarkov, um, and this is one of the maps that's available in the game, that's so cool, level 4, level 4, all 50 rounders, he's got a pistol, he's got some basic meds, What was that? Oh, that was 338 Lapua. Oh, wow. Look at the... Wow, the, the spectating cam. I know it's work in progress, but this looks good, dude. AK with... Uh, oh, I like that handguard, too. The clock on the right. The scoreboard on the top. You have, like, an extra vitals behind the player character. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if that is actually live or if that's just for, for flair. Okay, we're in OT now. Oh yeah, this is OT, so now there's an objective, it looks like. Cap a flag or hold, an, hold a point. <laughs> oh, the scuffed fights. Up. Oh, round one. So, red, did red team win? Oh, it did. Wow, man, the UI looks so good. It's like so Tarkov, but it's like so clean at the same time. Love it. Oh, the, oh this map. Nice. Yeah. I love the horn, the woo, that's so good. Popping bunch of stims. See, this is the one time where pre manning is fair. Also, I just noticed um, no no modern painkiller effect. They're still on um on sharpness, so that's interesting. Oh boy. Wow, how is he not <laughs> How did he not die sooner, dude? What the heck? Oh, that dude's dead. Oh, he flatlined. Yeah, so the vital line does actually change because it flatlined right when he died. That's cool. What gun is this? Is this an HK? Oh, it is an HK. Oh, it looks weird because it's got the riser. Nice. M995. So we're, so they're, they're using they're using big boy kits, man. This is not like this is not level one and two traders. This is like definitely level four trader stuff. Oh god, that HK recoil. But that was with 995, so that actually wasn't, like, terrible. He's got a good... Oh. He's got a good position here. Oh, prone, yep. That's new recoil, too. I think that's a new recoil system that they're trying to uh, implement. It seems like an updated version of the one they showed us um, on the podcast before patch 13.5. So it's all TDM. Or, like, uh, one life TDM. 
with uh with an overtime objectives, which is dope. Wait, that's a scav. Oh, that guy just got folded. Oof. That was a scav. Yeah, look at he's got scav gloves. Oh man, M62s. That was not M62. That was bad ammo. Come on. Is this supposed to be like Rigi? I'm I'm assuming this is a reference to Rigi with the Chronicles because he was in the arena. But you can see all of his. Oh, you can see, in the top left next to the character little player indicator of the damage. You can see all the problems. He's on PKs. He's got a. Uh, He's dead, but he had a fracture. <laughs> PS12B. That gun has no recoil. Whoa, that's got to be a... Red... Oh, well, that had to have been a spectating thing. Because that, that RPK had zero recoil. Oh, and this is another map from Hired Ops. I recognize this, dude. I played this with on Free For All. That's so cool that they added the Hired Ops maps. That's actually really dope. Another... Oh. Kaiman. Blue armbands. It's more like a purple, honestly. Maybe that's a, maybe that's the color settings that this, this computer has, but... It's more of like a purple. But still, it's blue. Red versus blue is fine. That dude just got his... That dude just got scared the crap out of. Only with an SKS. That's weird. Quake Maker from an MP5 or something. Yeah, dude, this is literally a hired ops map. This is so cool. I love it. Vector. Ooh, from where? Probably behind him. Oh, God. M4 with no red dot? Are you crazy? I mean, I respect it, but... Oh, we got him. Wow. Oh, look at all the, uh... The devs playing. Like I said, the, the UI is super clean, man. Oh, post-game victory as well. Oh, that's it? Oh, I thought there was more. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow, that was awesome. All right, so I guess let's go through it real quick again. So, this is a higher ops map. Double, again, double armbands. That's dope. You get a bunch of PKs and a bunch of stims. Um, first fight. Yeah, so this that's crazy that there's still soft skills. I mean, I guess technically because it's tied to your character. That would make sense. Because you're going to be able to, like, technically use the same character for Arena and regular Tarkov, which I don't know how that's going to work, but... Yeah, so we look at... Yes, no backpack, no pouch. Level 4 armor, he had a uh, LZH with a face shield. 50 round mags, basic meds. Flash grenade, he had a regular frag, I think. Everything's key binded. Oh man, it just gets slapped. Five six a one. Um. So let's see what else. Mutant. Loud mutant too. That's an HK. This 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 is the best part. Look at that look at that scuffed fight. <clears throat> that's funny. Yeah, his his uh his vitals are in the yellow, that's cool because he was like super low HP. Alright, we're going through this a little quicker, but this is dope. Dude, this all just looks like fun. As long as the net code works, man, and it feels good to play, this is gonna be super dope. I don't know the melee weapon. I respect it. So he takes the middle, throws one grenade, throws a second, and then he gets bombarded. I don't think he kills that. Does he kill that dude? Hold on. He doesn't. Oh, he might. I don't know, actually. It doesn't show up in the feed, so I don't think he does. I love the spectating camera. This camera dude is so good. It's got, like, the actual, like, the, the camera things on the side with the record. Very, very cool. You use Q and E to toggle between your teammates that are still alive. Very, very nice. It's very clean. That's one thing I've noticed a lot about the UI and stuff with uh, with Arena. It's very polished, very clean and simple, but it's really effective. And I think that's just because 
they've taken their sweet time with this, man. They're not they're not messing around. They want to get this right at the beginning. They don't want a situation where they put something out and they got to fix it, which I respect. So, hey, the fact we might be playing this in the fall, dude, is... Oh, man, I don't know. Oh, I just get excited. Because I love Tarkov, but I am very interested to see how this plays. Rounds are short, too. They're only 90 seconds. Which is which is interesting. And I, it's first to five, I think. We have to skip to, we have to, skip to the end. Oh, you gotta aim there, bro. Come on, man. That was so free. <laughs> oh, that was all leg shots. Dude, people are going to get so good at Tarkov with this, man. This is going to be such a springboard for people to, like, improve on PvP. It's crazy. People are going to get so... I mean, people are already, like, really nasty at this game. Especially this wipe. It's going to get so much better after this. Like, I swear. But... A lot of, lot of high-powerful gear, man. So they're giving us they're giving us a lot of new toys to play with, which is cool. Or, like, good toys. They're not giving us the crap, which they might at the start. Who knows? Maybe you start with bad kits, then as you play and level up and earn, like, currency, you um, can upgrade your kits to get better gear. So maybe that's how it works. We don't know. I mean, there's not a lot of details. We've seen gameplay, and that's about it. Yeah, that's an MP5 that guy has to the left. Oh, Demirka was playing. That's cool. I just noticed his name in the feed. Little, we do a little fright. All right, Tarkov, you have my attention with Arena for sure. You definitely do, man. I'm excited. And it's worth having EOD now, especially. Yeah, it's first to five, and you get to see their- Oh, you get to see their KDA, and they don't hide it! Man, that's so nice. That's so nice, but... Yep, okay. I'm excited. I'm officially really excited for this. You have ranks, too, so I'm assuming as you play and, and win games, that goes up. Maybe that's like a, an MMR thing or a rank system, I don't know, but... Alright. I see why this game is getting a lot of, a lot of praise and a lot of hype from people that have played it um, at Gamescom. And it also explains why Tarkov, if you go to the official Tarkov site to pre-order, the game's getting more expensive. Um, it used to be 45 bucks for the standard version, now it's 50 So, I think they're gearing up. They are really starting to ramp up, I think, for this release and potentially a 1.0 next year. Again, that's a lot of hearsay. We have no idea. But, yeah, that was Arena Mode, man. This, this is very, very, very cool. I am excited. I want to play it. I would like to play it as early as possible. Not going to have that luxury, but I will play it with the masses, and obviously when it comes out, we'll, there'll be a ton of footage, and we'll talk about it, and I'll give impressions, but for now, this looks great. I'm really excited. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Let me know if you're excited for this as well, as much as I am and the rest of us, and uh, I will see you in future videos.